Edenton, North Carolina, the perfect blend of history and the future, of what's been in the past and looking forward to the future. This is a perfect place for us to talk about those people who helped to build this country. Edenton is home to many of those people who were instrumental in actually not just North Carolina's formation of government, but for the colonies and for what became the United States. We have here women and men who have had a major impact on our nation's uh, foundation. For example, Hugh Williamston stood in front of that courthouse here and urged North Carolina to ratify the Constitution under the condition that it did have a Bill of Rights. Penelope Barker, she was the first woman in politics to really have the, the moxie to say no to King George. Edington does have a rich heritage. It has people who care about the community. That same kind of spirit lives today in Edington. That same kind of spirit is alive and well in this public power community where people care about each other, where it's neighbors working for and with neighbors. That's the spirit that is alive and well here in Edington. Edenton is great because it's real, it's authentic. Um, people are drawn to our downtown especially um, because it's, it's vibrant, um, it has eclectic shops, it has restaurants, it has our movie theater with first run movies. It's just, it's real. Edenton is a public power community and that means that we own and operate our electric system. Our customers know all of our linemen, they know our meter readers, they know the guys that drive and operate the bucket truck. So if we ever do have an emergency and power goes out, I think there's a sense of um, comfort from our customers knowing that um, their neighbors, their friends who work for us are going to do their very best to get electricity restored as soon as possible. Through the development of this historic town, public power has been in the midst. Public power has made major contributions to this community and the way the people have been able to thrive and survive and to grow and to actually love this community. We're grateful to be a public power community. I am a native son of Edenton. My father was a medical doctor here and my mother was a nurse. It was a very pleasant, free, bucolic almost sort of childhood. You could roam around town. You didn't have any uh, restraints on where you could go or when you could go there. And you just knew you had to be home when the sun went down. One of the critical components for successful leadership in municipal government is to be a good listener. Uh, you're constantly made aware of things that are going on in the community that could be done better or differently. Uh, give back, put something on the wood pile, and walk away uh, feeling like you, you've been able to achieve just that. With all of our historic beginnings, we feel that Edenton has a wonderful opportunity to tell its story to the rest of the world. And we've really never had that opportunity before. We are the primo small town America that you could ever, ever find. July 4th here, my first July 4th, standing on that waterfront, watching a beautiful fireworks display across the bay. My heart just thumped. I couldn't believe it. It was my first experience, and it was something like you would see in the best directed movie imaginable. And the crowd, all about eating the hot dogs and walking along the waterfront, and just crowds of people, all of them courteous and kind to one another, friendly, and a group 
that was just enjoying the celebration of our nation. People who visit for the first time are really taken back that um, a place like Edenton still exists.